I'm in Tabaro and not Tabaro. Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. I got an early start. I'm in one of their Dollar Trees. And I'm seeing for the first time these monogram ornaments that you can DIY. I'm going to attempt to go through them to see if they have my initial already. I see an A with the Santa hat on it. I um, have not seen these before. And I'm also seeing some galvanized metal um, ornaments. And stockings. Pays to travel. They also have these galvanized stars that have the uh, white and black buffalo plaid bow attached to them. I'm kind of finished with decorating, but I doubt these make it my way. They have it so far. They also have a different variation of the snowflake. These might be great to put on gifts. Gift tags, the packaging, yeah, really, really nice. None of the cute pet signs made it near me. This one says, Dear Santa, don't forget the dog. How cute is that? Um, yeah, I wanted the one that says, I believe in Santa Paws. That hasn't made it yet. But what they also have, I found one of these not these on the road trip when i went to smithfield but look at these holiday dog bone mats you will need to put a rug grip underneath them but how cute are these you could really decorate your pet's area you know they want to celebrate christmas too Ooh, gotta look high and low we woof you a merry christmas i don't know why these couldn't have made it to greenville but here we are is it a different one? Yes, here's the one I was looking for. Hold on. But this one is for cats. I thought it was for dogs. It says, we believe in Santa Paws. It's a cat. So if you have a cat, they have something for them too. Parker's area, I think these match nicely. Also have these uh, galvanized metal signs on the wood stands. This one says, Noel. This one says Jolly. This one says Peace. And this one says Hope. These glitter reindeer heads uh, with some bling on them in the mini ornament section. Have not seen those near me. Unrelated to Christmas, these white garden gates also never made it near me. I was looking for these heavy as well. Um, never made it. So unrelated to Christmas, they have these really cute Juneteenth um, heart-shaped sunnies. I've never seen anyone else haul these, and these also never made it my way. They are cute. Some cute wood crafts. I've never seen this one before. And this one comes with the paint and one brush. Uh, really, really cute. It comes out like that, and it says girl power. Love that. They also have a shark, and they have an astronaut. Um, I guess it's from a brand, Curiosity. They have this one with the unicorn, Dream Like a Unicorn. Really cute crafts for the kids especially Christmas break is coming in comic books from Final Factions the first edition not sure if there'll be more to come I did get those action figures for my grandson have not seen this before it comes in this little package it's arcade space sabers um, auto inflates to over 15 inches. How cool is this? This is going to be perfect. I'm going to send one to my grandson in his Christmas package so it won't take up that much space. And uh, they have these cute warrior masks. Maybe they're left over from Halloween. I'm not seeing um, the breastplate. I'm just seeing the mask. But he likes to... Uh, they sent me a video with him with the mask on and whatever... He was doing some kind of like action, Call of Duty, play, pretend play. So um, I think that's cute. And that uh, saber, whatever they call it, um, 
space saber will go along with that. Really cute. I didn't see last time I was here, they also have in the bling in the jars, this is what's left since I've been here last, and I did not see the green color. I had only seen uh, the clear, I think like a pink and the turquoise. And now I'm seeing green. Might be good for Christmas crafts. Um, they have those there. This fabric and these patterns. This isn't this isn't Christmas, but it's just random fabric that you can use for different projects. Pass these by because I thought these were. Um, I thought this was red velvet. I just assumed when I seen the red packaging, but this is limited edition holiday cupcakes from Hostess, and it's yellow cake. Mm. Something that I've seen online in other hauls, but never actually seen them. So these are metal hooks, and they come with the hardware. Again, if they're going to be visible and you're not a fan of this color, you can always spray paint. And I have seen these before. I've seen those hooks before. These metal words. I'm seeing love. I'm seeing faith. I'm seeing enjoy. And I'm also seeing hope. These have not made it near me. From Be Pure, they have this two-step cleanser and mask. So step one is a green tea facial cleanser. And step two is an activated charcoal mask. Removes impurity that leaves skin looking dull. Um, the cleanser removes oil, dirt, and makeup buildup. This is a repeat buy for me. I ran out of my brand that I use and I got these wipes. I keep these in my bathrooms. I love them. Um, so I said, let me try the soap and I was pleasantly surprised because I pay like $5 for my feminine soap. and. I was pleasantly surprised, so I will be picking up more. As you can see, it's only one on the shelf. So, uh, and my local Daily Dollar Tree, they're sold out. I like this body wash, paraben-free, vegan, cruelty-free, and it doesn't irritate me if I use it in intimate areas. I have been looking for the orange blossom in the pump. Never made it my way, and here it is. Um... They have other body washes, but um, this Arm & Hammer one is good. And I like a pump um, shower gel. It's just easier to dispense. Seeing these in my local area, I only found these in South Carolina on a road trip, so I'm happy to be seeing them in the store. This is a three compartment organizer. Perfect. You could put together, put these in a gift basket or whatever with some bath items. Um, the um, compartments aren't big, but it'll do. Can't beat it. Okay, they have some last minute gifts on this end cap. I actually hauled this a while ago. I'm not sure if it was in New York, if it was here. So it's this really cute clear case. You can use it for cosmetic items or pens. They have some eye mask, a little manicure kit from Sassy and Chic. I've shared with you guys in previous posts these Valero products but I'm happy to see these so this is sparkling pear and honey they have the facial wash the cream the exfoliator the mist I'm interested in the wipes I love Valero wipes The opposite side they have the two-in-one conditioner and shampoo from Bolero um, they have the Bolero's men shave cream they have the Dove's men care um, deodorant and they have aftershave lotion I seen somebody do a review on YouTube and she said her husband actually likes the shave cream um, I don't know if he reviewed the aftershave lotion so there's something for everybody here a lot of products from noblemen um, this actually is a foot treatment mask with lactic acid and glycolic acid, peels away calluses and dead skin, softens, softens cracked heels and dry rough feet. Convenient wearable mask socks. So I have not seen this before. Dollar Tree has had these baskets for a while, so this is nothing new. But these would make great 
basket bases, especially you're putting together a nice basket with all of the Harry and David coffee, the food finds. Um, these are, I think, perfect. And you're giving them an extra gift because they can keep this basket and reuse it over and over again. So uh, that would look really, really pretty. This is a cute t-shirt, found it in the pile. It says, ice, yo, that's cold. I think that's yo. Ice, so? I, I, I don't know, uh, but it's cute. Get it for my son. New from Wizard. I have never seen this before, so I'm saying new. Um, it's the Magic of Fresh Carpet and Room Deodor Pet Odor Deodorizer baking soda has baking soda and I've seen people hauling this I don't have a garbage disposal but this is a foaming garbage disposal cleaner okay so these pop-up storage bins are back with the twist okay they're back with the twist I'm gonna open it and show you now they have this faux leather handle I mean we know it's not leather but they it's really really cute so they have them and look how much you can fit it's a pop-up um, storage bin and I like the inside because you can wipe it clean let's say you put something in there that spills or whatever um, you can wipe the inside clean they had these years ago I hauled a lot of them when I was still in New York and this is what the packaging looks like so you know what to look for never seen these before I don't know if it's new for the holiday season but perfect to put in a food gift basket they're calling these Choco Biscuits, crispy and delicious. Wow. And the same brand has vanilla wafers. I mean, chocolate wafers. They do have them in vanilla as well. Here is the vanilla and they're sugar free. On the last lap to the register, I see this sign. It says, Dear Santa, I've been a very good dog this year. And I love that the dog is black because Parker is black. And they have this cat. It says, Dear Santa, I've been a very good cat this year. So be on the lookout for that. And I will be picking this one up. Yes, ma'am. We're about to do the haul right in the store. Everything I'm showing you is coming with me to the register. So in the youth department, I found some t-shirts for Chunk. Um, I got a great deal on boys boxers yesterday at Walmart. Everything has went up. So... <clears throat> I'm getting one, two, three, four of these t-shirts. These can be used as undershirts. I am going to be hauling this cute t-shirt I seen for my son to put in his Christmas package. Probably will get socks before this package gets shipped off. Got a box so I can start packing Chunk's package. From the Nobleman, I got these exfoliating feet mask for I Spy. I picked up another one of the dry brushes. No, I did not use the two that I bought yet, but if I want to give this as a gift, I don't want to take from my stash. I did get one of these three compartment storage containers. Was thinking about getting two, maybe doing something with the Cricut. I'm only getting one. I am going to try these sugar-free vanilla wafers and I did pick up a pack of these Choco Biscuits. They look very, very good. They look just as good as the brand. I can't remember who makes them. I don't know if it's Petridge, Pepperidge Farm. I'm not sure. To go in Chunk's basket, I am going to be getting him this mask. He does like pretend play, and I think this is really cute. I'm not going to go with that blind bag sort of um, lightsaber, but I am going to get him this soft foam disc blast blaster. going to get him these to go in his Christmas package. Now they do have these near me. I just didn't pick them up, but they're cute. I was, I've been eyeing these, so this is going to go in his Christmas package. I picked up one. This is Orange Blossom. It is on a pump. I have been looking for them. I do like the other Arm & Hammer body washes, so I'm only getting one. I am picking up two packages of um, this sparkling pear and honey facial wipes from Bolero. They smell really, really good. I love Bolero wipes. I use them on a daily basis. I told you guys that before. 
I'm only getting one pack of these hooks. They come with the hardware, only getting one. For Parker to go in his room, these are really, really so cute. I have a rug grip at home. This is the same as the other Dollar Tree 125 mats, but you will need a rug gripper. And this matches perfectly, so he's getting that as well. I did get chunk of these cars last year for Christmas. I'm pretty sure he does not have them now. Um, I'm going to put these in that turbo wheel um, car carrier. I'm going to fill it with these. I think it holds five cars, so I'll have an extra car. But yeah, I'm buying them again because I know they're gone. I'm also getting this sign. It's Dear Santa, don't forget about the dog. How cute is that? Couldn't leave that. I only lashes whenever I see the dramatic ones. This is an old um, lash bar that they still have lashes for. So, matter of fact, I'm going to put some on when I get in the car. I just hit the road this morning. I am going to try this Bolero. I know, I always buy these masks. Are these sheet masks or liquid? I don't think these are sheet masks, but I am going to try it. These are repurchased for me. I absolutely love these. And that's what prompted me to try the soap. I've seen the soap, but I was kind of skeptical. I usually buy Vagisil or... Um, damn it, what's the other one? It's been around forever. I don't know another feminine brand that's been around forever and I ran out and because I like these so much I keep these in my bathroom I said let me try this and this doesn't stay on the shelf long and I actually like it so this is a repurchase for me I think this I after I tried the first one I think I hauled two they had two on the shelf I left one from somebody being that I have some but my local Dollar Trees are sold out In the t-shirt section, I did find a two-pack hidden, the only pack of the Gildan men's boxers in a size extra large, and I am going to be getting this metal sign that says Jolly. I might paint the base. This would look so pretty. Um, actually, if you do it two-toned with red and green, just add some color to it. And let me make sure that's everything. Yes, so this is the walkthrough in the hall all-in-one, guys. Because I want to put this stuff away. Because if I do the walkthrough and then um, I wait a couple of days and do the whole stuff is sitting in bags. And I'm trying to get my house together. Um, not have any Dollar Tree bags hanging around. So I'm heading to the register. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and haul all in one. In a different location in Rocky Mount, they have this African American nutcracker stocking. I love the black top. That's the only one I'm seeing. I also have not seen these um, smaller uh, Christmas like um, block signs like this. This one says Mary. It's just randomly placed here, so maybe they have different ones. I also never seen this one. It has African American elves decorating a Christmas tree, and it says Jolly, and it looks like the Jolly is supposed to be written in gold. This one is damaged. I'm going to look around and see if I see another one. I have not seen this in a while. I absolutely love this. I use this all the time. Um, love it, love it, love it. I wish I would have found more, but I will get this one. This is the 2-in-1 Everlasting Lash Glue Liner from Ioni. It's, it's wonderful. I have not seen this nail stamp before. It's from Sassy and Chic. So here is the stamper, it looks like. And you have to buy the stamp plates separately. And they're both from Sassy and Chic. First time seeing these from Harry, Harry and David. They're the wafer roll. So this is hazelnut. And this is chocolate. It's not in a last minute gift display. But, um, you know, they do have them. At this location, they have the men's body wash. So I think at the last Rocky Mountain location, I only seen like the shampoo 
and conditioner, two-in-one, and the shave and aftershave, but this location has the body wash, so you can make a complete set. From Crystal Waters, they have this Bath & Body Shea Butter Lotion. So they have um, lavender scented, and they have, what is it, rose scented. I got some of their other hand cream, and I wasn't impressed. Um, maybe the Shea Butter will be better. They also... In a two, um, in a last minute gift display, they have two bath bombs from Crystal Waters. This is vanilla scented and this is coconut scented. And they also have these fancy bars of soap with different scents and they also have some bath salts. They have some Easter soaps left over. Um, I don't know if I found these last year. Did I see them? I don't know but before you know it the way time's flying Easter will be here so you could always get it and put it up I have this trinket tray it says grandmas are the greatest blessing I think these are the only ones so if you have a grandma oh home is where mom is so either you could put these up for Mother's Day or maybe these are left over for Mother's Day or Christmas especially if you're giving a piece of jewelry it's pretty cool called these when I was in New York and ended up <laughs> donating them before I moved. So this is from Magnolia. It's a candle making kit. They have apple cinnamon, fresh linen, blueberry, and lavender. Has anybody tried these? Do they work? I don't know. I, I, I didn't use them and I, I don't have the interest now, but just wanted to share. So it looks like you make one candle. I'm looking for the Yardley candles, but haven't had the luck yet. These are similar to the um, the bling that they have in the glass jar. This is diamonds. It's a vase filler. I have seen this before and hauled this before, and they also have this like pearl looking iridescent ones that are um, in the shape of diamonds. They have the clothes from Lala Palusi, or Lala Loopsy Littles. I don't know, guys. Um, but there's different outfits here for well, these two and this dress. I guess you have to find the doll. I guess you can buy the doll from somewhere else. This is a cute bath set. Really cute. This is my first time seeing these. These are Christmas containers, so they snap together. So this is Santa Claus. And here is the snowman. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. I will see you guys in the next video.